by one. You see still with two timeouts remaining, two 20s to heat. The Spurs with three. Now that one to the two minute mark, each team with a foul to give. And there's James's numbers. And an unbelievable fourth quarter to bring his team back from 13 down to take the lead. They nearly fumble it away down the stretch, but now with a chance to add to their lead in overtime. And Tony Parker on the bench. Why do you think? They must be taking a timeout if they get this stop or even if Miami scores. So that they can switch more, Mike, and keep a bigger man in. James against Ginobili. Backs in. Difficult shot, rolls off, won't go. Rebound, Leonard. Outlet to Ginobili. And there's that timeout, Jeff. Parker perhaps will come right back in. No, perhaps about it, Mike. <laughs> How about Leonard with another huge rebound? This young man, 22 points and 10 boards. And the Spurs with a chance to regain the lead. Kept more size on the floor so they could switch the pick and roll. A makeable jump hook, a tremendous traffic rebound by Kawhi Leonard. So close, says LeBron James. And now San Antonio's chance. Now the teams each with two timeouts left, still the foul to give. You know, Parker, I'm sure, exhausted as they let him get a little bit of a breather. Yeah, and again, the pick and roll game is going to be hard for Parker with James on him. Is there somewhere else they can go right now to get a quality shot? Tim Duncan on the right block. Ginobili in a pick and roll. Danny Green on a catch and shoot. I'm just not sure Tony Parker against James in pick and roll action because of his size and length and strength is going to be able to create a good enough play. Maybe the most versatile defender in the NBA. James has been guarding Parker most of the way. You know, we saw the numbers of the star players, but certainly some of the supporting cast has been so huge, like a Kawhi Leonard, like a Ray Allen. Ginobili, Danny Green, Duncan, Leonard, and Parker come out for San Antonio. James, Bosch, Wade, Chalmers, and Allen. Fifty-five seconds remain. James in pursuit of Parker. They get it to Duncan, and we'll go right back to Genova. Parker sets it up. Ginobili on the drive, looking, throws it away right to James. James drives on Green, he tries to foul him, and then James lost it out of bounds. I think they're going to review that, and I believe it went off LeBron James. It appeared that Green tried to foul him. The whistle didn't blow on that, and then James lost it out. Danny Green made a tremendous play, and that easily hit off LeBron James. Mike, a number of times in this series, Danny Green in transition has made fabulous defensive plays. Right, that, that was, I was wrong. That's not an attempt to foul. That's an attempt to knock it out of his hands, which he did. And James clearly touched it last. Here's the instant replay. Last two minutes of the fourth quarter and all of overtime. That is a great defensive play. He's done that, as you said. In fact, one time to James, he did it. One time to Wade. And that's going to result in San Antonio ball with 40 seconds left. And this is the good part about the review. Danny Green, who has set a finals record with most three-pointers in an NBA Finals. Just brilliant shooting. And has also made some excellent defensive plays. It has been a coming-out party for Danny Green here in this championship round. And now San Antonio's taking a 20-second timeout to try to advance the ball to try to play the two-for-one game if they can create a quick enough shot to give them two possessions to Miami's one. So they overturn the ball on the court. An easy overturn. San Antonio will have it. 
They want to end it tonight. And if the Heat hold on, Game 7 will be on ABC. I'm right back here at the American Airlines Arena. Tip off shortly after 9. Kia NBA countdown starts us off at 8.30 Eastern. It seems almost fitting the series should go to 7, but we'll find out. The first game, a thriller down to the final seconds. Then four, in many ways, blowouts, double-figure victories as they've alternated wins through the first five games of this series. What a roller coaster ride it's been. And just an absolute dramatic thriller here in game six. Kawhi Leonard will inbound. Duncan Green, Ginobili, and Parker. Chalmers is on Leonard. Leonard has got to use his size to get on the board against the smaller Chalmers. Right back to Parker, guarded by James. Bosch could help. Parker blocked by Bosch. James the rebound. And a foul called against San Antonio. They had a foul to give, so Miami will take it out. Bosch has made huge plays down the stretch. What a defensive play by Chris Bosch to recover, contest, and block. Right now, the question is for San Antonio, there's a 7.3 second difference between game clock and shot clock. That's not, that's certainly enough time where they don't have to foul. Plenty of time, but by taking Tony Parker out, you can't really expect them, if they get the miss, to push it and try to play fast. They'll probably have to take the time out and advance it. Miami clinging to a one-point lead. Wade pulls up. Won't go. Leonard the rebound. Ten seconds remaining. Not looking to call time. Ginobili on the drive. Ginobili lost the ball. Picked up by Allen. Now they have to foul. Greg Popovich, I rate. He thought Ginobili got hit. Instead, Ray Allen will shoot free throws with 1.9 remaining. It's still not over, even if he makes both free throws. But a big defensive play there by the Heat. Well, they're pushing in transition. He's attacking Ray Allen. Boy, he looked like he got him across the arm on that drive. It's so congested. But to me, that's a foul. Absolutely. Allen, one of the great free throw shooters in the game, with a chance to put him up by three. Now, remember also, Miami has a foul to give. But with 1.9 remaining, that's a dangerous scenario to try and use it. Absolutely, particularly if they're going for three. And San Antonio will call time and advance the ball. Two clutch free throws from Ray Allen. Beat by three, timeout San Antonio. Greg Popovich. One last chance to say the officials that was a foul down the other end. Now he's going to get his team ready. And obviously, Jeff, they have to attempt the three-pointer. Well, without question, they do have time, though, to take a dribble. So if you catch it, shot fake, and use a dribble to create some space, you can still get it off. And for the Heat, again, it's a, it's a dangerous situation to try and foul and not let him at least attempt a three-pointer because you know the Spurs are going to look to get in that shooting motion right away. Only if they really catch the ball with their back to the basket would I even think about fouling in this situation. You would expect Miami would switch a lot, but they have to be disciplined and tight on their switches. Ginobili, Parker, Green, Duncan will inbound again. Gary Neal has actually checked in. And there's no timeout. And Splitter is checked in, so it's Parker sitting down. It's Ginobili, Green, Neal, Duncan, and Splitter. Listen, I'm playing above Splitter right now, and I'm not guarding Duncan. I'm tracking. If I'm Mario Chalmers, I I'm going to Danny Green. I'm not even guarding Tim Duncan. And same with off Splitter. Be above him. Trap the shooter. They need a three. Green trying to get free. Cross court pass to Green. Green blocked by Bosch. Game over. There'll be a game seven.
for their season to end tonight. Chris Bosch with some extraordinary plays at both ends of the floor at the end of regulation and overtime. Well, great screen by Splitter. And again, I like the non-call, but if you're saying is that a foul in the first 46 minutes, it absolutely is on that three-point shot. And Bosch taking a chance. You know, you want to contest the shot, but to get that so close and taking a chance of a whistle, but it pays off for Miami. One of those defining games for the Heat to come back, force the overtime, and force a game seven. LeBron James with Doris. LeBron, you were down 10 to start the fourth, and things looked dire. At that point, what did you decide had to happen? Let's leave everything on the floor. If we're going to go down tonight, we're going to go down with me leaving every little bit of energy that I had on the floor and just try to do it on both ends. I still made some critical plays uh, as far as bad plays late in the, late in the fourth, a couple turnovers, a couple mistakes. But I can live with those mistakes when I know I gave it my all tonight and uh, we'll live to see another day. On Thursday night, you'll have to win a game seven and the pressure inherent with that and the glare and the weight that always weighs on you, LeBron James. How do you manage all of that? I mean, if they said we needed one game to win the NBA championship, how do you manage it? There's no way. You just try to go out there and just give it your all. You, you rely over everything that you've done over all course of the season all your habits that you've built you just leave it out on the floor and there's two best teams in the league right now and that's why uh, it's a game seven so I'm just happy to be a part of it Doris it's been fun for us LeBron. Uh, thank, thank you. you so much Ray Allen Ray Allen you trailed by five with under 30 seconds to go and you had to make some plays you're on the floor as it's going down the wire with so little time on the clock what are you thinking there's until the clock runs out we still have an opportunity here to win this game and um, you know we've been a resilient bunch all year and you know LeBron's attacking you know we're, we don't have great offense going but we know that we still have a shot so I just kept my head in and you know that ball bounces in weird ways into the games and we got a great bounce. What things did you show in the stand to get it to overtime and winning this game that will help you win a game seven here at home. Well, we talked about the small things, uh, not taking the possession off. And uh, tonight in the second quarter, we did, we took fewer and fewer possessions off. We got to do that for 48 minutes now. And we know we're playing one game and that's it. We got to go out here and do our best and leave it all out on the floor. We'll look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. All right, Doris. Well, the Heat winners tonight in Miami, but the NBA fans winners as well as they'll get a game seven as we will. Coming up on Thursday night, right back here in Miami. This compelling series, they continue to alternate wins. No one can win two in a row. The Heat will try and do it to win a championship. The Spurs will try and bounce back and win another title. Final score in overtime, the Heat 103, the Spurs 100. For Jeff Van Gundy, Doris Burke, Steve Javi, producer Tim Corrigan, director Jimmy Moore, and our entire outstanding crew, Mike Green saying thanks for watching ABC, home of the NBA Finals.